Good morning, welcome to Dogman Homestead. It is a oven out here this morning. Woo! So I gotta get stuff done. Uh, I'm gonna try to get, get this roof finished up on this part. That way I can pretty much stay in here, put some tie back on. Uh, I gotta unhook this, uh, take that dryer or washer pipe out of there. Uh, I gotta get moving on that because I gotta do laundry. <laughs> I'm going through two or three shirts a day. So I need to do laundry, so I need to get this finished so I can get it moved in, but man, it's hot. So I'm gonna try to limit how much time I'm out there and try to get as much done in here as I can. So, all right guys, let's get going. Well, this ought to be entertaining. I gotta get up here and see how strong my construction is. Get out of here, board. And then I gotta put this flashing on it. Okay. I know this is a terrible job. I should have did this before I put the tin on. That wasn't fun guys, it is so hot up there. And then that tin just absorbed that heat. All right, after being up on that roof, <laughs> I'm gonna work in here. There's plenty to do inside and under the shade. So I'm gonna get this tie back on this wall. I'm just gonna close this whole wall off. Uh, I'm gonna probably put a little access door to this area outside here. Uh, I'm gonna have to frame that out as well. I'm probably getting pretty low on two by four, so and we'll get the bird block in now that those are uh, Screwed down tight. I do got to cut a little piece to finish out this board All right starting to do the bird block. I got this wall tie back. <laughs> it was funny because I got over there. I put the first row of tie back in I ran out of staples and then I'm looking I'm like I can't get out of here so I had about this much space here in the front. I had to squeeze through, push the fence back, end up coming back out of there a couple times. Man, I'm gonna have to probably knock this off pretty soon because I'm having trouble breathing in this heat. Man, it's hot. 
we'll keep going. Woo! But I can feel it. different kinds of screws in my pocket and I threw those in there. Alright guys. Alright guys, I'm going to be honest. I worked an hour and a half and it did me in and I mean it did me in. It is hot. What do you think? Yeah. Glad I could come over and uh, give you an excuse to stop for a minute. Man, it's hot. It's hard to breathe in this. You know, it's going to be like this all week. So I'm, I'm going to work at night, I guess. Here, let's go. Yeah. Get let's Jeff's go Bobblehead Homestead here. We'll see what he thinks. It's big. It's bigger yes, than I thought is. it would be. <laughs> yes, it is. Nice. And this is like, you know, you got five purposes going on here. You got an upper deck, nope. you got a screen in area, then you've got a, what, the dog apartment? Storage room, storage laundry room. room. Laundry room. Yeah, come check out the this ceiling in this thing. going to add a lot to your house. So watch, your, watch your step here. Whoo! Get away, wasp. Oh, it's already cooler in here. Oh, yeah. Made a heck of a difference. Yeah. That's because I'm designing it with this high ceiling. So all the heat rises oh. up. Hi, Swaldo. Yeah, I was doing bird block earlier, and I said, man, I can't go no more. It is hot. Even in the shade, the air is so thick. But, yeah, I'll have get the walls up and get the door on and I'm, and get this covered up here and I'll be ready to go. Yeah. For now. It's time for it. summer. Yeah. Yeah, the humidity, it's like soup. The air oh, is like soup. Thick. And I, I'm getting over that floorsy and I, I can feel it in my lungs right well, now. Well, we were up so. too late partying last night. So. Nah. <laughs> I was drinking tea. I was. Yeah. So once we, oh, I can't, I can't wait to get up there and start on that deck in this heat. That's going to be wee early in the morning or late at night and after the sun goes down. Yeah, get a work light at night or something. I don't yeah. even know. Although even after the sun goes down, it's like an hour before it cools down. Yep. Well, Jeff stopped by to get a package. Uh, some of you guys have been sending things for Jeff and he appreciates that. I appreciate it. Uh, there's two more packages in the post office box, but I can't get them until Monday. So I'll get those to him. He's moving Tuesday. So he kind of, yeah, you did tell people that. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to let it go here. Uh, say hi to Jeff. If you haven't checked out his channel, Bobblehead Homestead, I'll put a link in the description. 
Sorry I couldn't do any more work, uh, but it's, I'm not going to risk my health. It's, I mean, you, he'll tell you, it's bad right now. Yeah, it's soupy. It's, oh, soupy. Man. So, all right, guys. Uh, we'll it's get looking this. great. Keep watching his videos. There you go. Happy trails. Right, I'm going to go around, do a welfare check on the puppy dogs, see how they're doing. Make sure the water's not getting hot. I've already got everybody water once this morning you guys staying cool in the shade shelter yeah no it's hot babies let me get your water out of the sun make sure it's not yeah there's bugs and everything else in there they don't care it's still cool all right you guys just hang on i'm gonna work as fast as i can get this thing ready for you guys yeah, I know. The other day I splashed water all over Waldo and he growled at me. He didn't like it. But then he was walking around like, hey, that's better. You guys just stay there, okay? Don't be doing nothing today. Uh, let's go check on the other goofballs. I know it's hard on them. It's hard on me. But there's a nice breeze and it's coming right through there, so... Let's go see what the other guys do. Libby did not want to come out of her kennel today. I don't blame her. It's nice and cool in there. There's Tilly. Tilly's got the nice cool spot. What you doing, Tilly? Huh? Let's get your water in some shade. Just got her water again. Yeah, it's still cool. It's a little cool there. Want to say hi to everybody? What did you do? Every time somebody comes over, you got it. You got to knock your water over. You are the biggest problem dog I have ever seen. Yeah, it's a good thing I came out to check on you. I knew she did that. See how nice and shady it's cool in there. All right, let me go get this paint in a butt another water. Yeah, you know that doesn't hurt nobody but yourself when you knock your bucket over. I bet I've bought her 15, 20 buckets in her the time I've had her in seven years. She is a case. Uh, good thing I don't work at the ranch anymore because she would blend all day without water. I, ha I used to strap it to the fence, but then she'd destroy the buckets, and I buy these big strong buckets. All right, you lay down. I got a pizza in the oven. And then we got this one. She don't want no part of going outside, do you, Rooster? All right. Mm, look at that pizza. Yeah, a little garlic and pepper. Red peppers. Then I douse it a little Louisiana hot sauce. Armageddon cheese. I just wish Rooster was around because I know she likes pizza. Wash it down with ice cold milk, sweet and dried up, there good. I don't know what that was. He goes nuts when I make pizza. No, I'm not eating the whole thing. I usually get about half of it there. She's ready to eat. Where's Rooster? Would Rooster like some pizza? Mmm. Rooster. Uh, that's my life, guys. What do you want? You're always begging. 
always begging. You get crust, you get sausages and pepperoni. But you ain't getting too much because it's too close to supper time. Alright guys. Enough of the dogs. 